Welcome to the Kieran Khan Football Channel. Now, I love football kits and training stuff, and I decided that I wanted to get the professional opinion of a professional kit man, Mr. Ellis Platten. Hello. Hello. You've, you've introduced me as a professional kit man. It's, it sounds like I work at um, like a club. Maybe I do. Right, here is my wonderfully constructed slideshow. Oh, it's so good. Ellis Platten brutally and violently ranks my kit collection by Kieran Khan, aged 20. Seven. You could you could change the R for a W there and it would still work. Nice. The first one, the 2011-12 Manchester City shirt, the Aguero shirt. Yeah, that's that's a very good. I think that's a that's a seven eight out of ten. I think the Umbro kits seven and a half out of ten. I give you. Umbro kits for Man City were really good. Like the the white one with the sash, like the the red sash. Is oh very my good. god. I've wanted that for so long. It's absolutely glorious. I'm desperate we get it back. I would actually give this kit, surprisingly, a five. Really, a five? It has intense value in the sense of it's the first Premier League title, the Aguero moment. However, for some reason why, this kit reminds me of Owen Hargreaves' one appearance for Manchester City, and he scored a scream. But for pure aesthetic reasons and Owen Hargreaves reasons, uh, it's it's a five for me, strangely. It's weird that Owen Hargreaves has got that one appearance, scored a screamer, and then just not featured again, bless him. Well, maybe it's like, you know, job done. Yeah, you know, I've done, uh, my work here is done, and then just walks off. He came, he saw, he conquered Birmingham, and he moved on. The next kit is the follow-up kit mm. to winning the league title. Now, this was controversial at the time, because usually you go gold when you win it. You go you go gold with the following season. Swansea went gold after they won the FA Cup or League, League Cup, we we went for a black and white. Yeah, um, I don't, the collar looks quite nice, but I think this is weaker. And the other one was only higher because of the Aguero moment, obviously. I think this is about, this is a six for me. It's still a good kit, but it's not, it's not, it's not upper tier. I've sort of hamstrung myself here by giving the previous one a five. I'll change the previous one to a 6.5 and now this is a five. Yeah, so you couldn't, you didn't just up it to a six there, you gave it an extra 0.5 as well to really ram home the point. Yeah, I mean, it was a good goal by Mr. Hargreaves, so fair play to him. <laughs> Next up is this, in my opinion, perfect number. You've got the brother sponsor, which I loved because I have brothers. So that was like, well, that's cool, isn't it? I'm one of them. It has, in my opinion, the best taping the kappa taping yeah the i've never seen so many iterations of a kit manufacturer's badge on a kit mm. and still be like wow somehow that looks better than if it wasn't there and also i would like you to take into consideration the fact i got this this is my dad's original one i got this signed by sean goater and it says feed the goat on feed it. the goat and he will score i i love it because of there's like some iconic images of Liam and Noel Gallagher in it. I'm a big Oasis fan. I make sure everyone in London Sun knows that. It's my, one of my only personality traits. I, <laughs> I, I think the cap on the sleeves is great. I, 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 it's, it's an, it's an 8.5 out of 10. It's a very, it's a very, very good uh, item. I, I really like it. Really, really good. It's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a nine. Okay. And the wiggle room there is at the away kit from this season is arguably better it's a which bit i do better. not have which is frustrating it's like navy, navy on top with the burgundy middle bit and then white oh it's also very hard to find 90s kits in the right size i find especially like the more sought after ones they're always they always come up in like an xl or a double xl but never the right size this one i i really like controversial that. at the time yeah the paisley manchester city kit as i do every single year whether it's England kits, whether it's City kits, I'm like, awful, what have they done? And then it gets, a uh, promo photo gets released when it's on the player, and I'm like, it turns out you were, you were right, I was wrong, and they look good. This is, in my opinion, uh, phenomenal. People said it looked like bacteria under a microscope. Mm. Yeah. I would agree, but maybe I like bacteria. I think a lot of a lot of Puma kits are growers, not showers. I find that, like, initially people hate them. Like, even with the template they did last year, they got a lot of hate with the, the name on it. Eventually people were like, oh, that's not actually too bad. It helps with like Man City when you've got someone like Foden or Grealish in it, you know, who people yeah. consider attractive men. Whereas like if I model that, I don't think it gets the same hype. But I, <laughs> I, I'm still I'm still at like a nine for that. I've actually got it in my collection, weirdly. And I don't collect any teams other than Leeds in England. So it's a, it's a nine for me. Nice. Okay, I'm going to give this also a nine. But there is a small caveat to this particular one. <laughs> okay. And that is that. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a nightmare. I'm currently in the process of Googling how to uh, make use of an iron to remove that. Now, I am a goalkeeper. I'm a big fan. Well, I like to think of myself as a goalkeeper, but five aside mainly because the height is uh, difficult for a big goal. <laughs> This is the 2000, oh, I think maybe two years actually, between five and seven, 2005 and seven. Mm. Uh, Liverpool had the exact same one. It's like literally green with just a Liverpool badge on. But this is a Manchester City one and I was, and still am, obsessed with goalkeepers. I like that the badge almost looks like a PNG dragged onto a shield. <laughs> I like the separation of the sleeves. I like that I bought it and within one wash, the front of it just completely came off. It looks very battered. But what is good is that it's signed by David James himself. Just based on the David James, ah, oh, no, nah, it's, it's a, I'm not a fan. I'm going to give it a five. Because mm. it's slightly elevated okay. by the whole David James story, but it's a five. It would be a normal five, but with nostalgic value for me, it's a seven. The next kit is one you mentioned yeah. earlier. It's a Puma template mm. with the club name across the front. Controversially, I bought this with my own money, Ooh. but I did wait until it was near the end of the season and it was like 30 quid. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the away day's tip, that is. Not my tip, I just say it all the time. Initially, I was like, this is this is awful, but turns out it is incredibly comfortable. It just fits my body shape really quite well, so I actually really like it. I think with, with this one, I'm supposed to hate it, but I don't. And I actually quite like a few of these templates. I think it's about a seven and a half out of 10. What well, is another one of them where, you know, like Grealish is wearing it. He's, he's probably looking quite good in it. This is going to sound like a humble brag, but it's not. I spoke to John Stones about this shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as you do. Yeah, yeah, I text him all the time, yeah. And he was like, he was like, no, we, we, I really like it. He's one of the most handsome men I've ever met. <laughs> it was good enough for him, it's good enough for me. I like it, but I'm still going to give it a six because I think it would be better. One, if it said Manchester City rather than Man ah, City, yeah. or, or just at MCFC, that would be quite nice. It would be improved if it did just have the badge. Yeah. Like, yeah. In instead of that, I'd be like, oh, you know what, that actually looks better than that. That would always look better than that one. So it seems silly, but I'll give it a six. Oh, now, now we're talking. Look at this pretty bastard. <laughs> I, I don't know how much to pay for it. I don't think it was that much. I think it might have been 60 quid. That's a good deal. It's um, a really good deal. I think it's 95 training kits on my birth year as well. Oh, phenomenal. It's a template, but who gives a shit? It's from the 90s. Templates are fine if they're, you know, not within the past five years. Yeah, that's the rule. I've literally never seen this ever. Like, if I go to a city game wearing this, people are like, bloody hell, where'd you get that? That's gorgeous. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Talk about the shirt as well, please. This is, for me, is a 9.8. I was going to say, what, what makes a 10 for you? What would get the 10? Is there anything on here that you would give a 10? I think there's one item which I, I actually associate more with you than the club, which I feel like you're going to rate highest. Yeah, I think 10 has to be a combination of, there's no way I could think it could be any better. And then also, the fit is very important of how it actually drapes on me. Uh, for me, that's a 9, because I can't give anything that isn't Leeds, in England, a 10. I'm actually going to revise mine to a 10 because the criteria I just set out, <laughs> this achieves both. So this is a 10 for me. Now, this is one I got recently. I like random, random, just anything 90s. Now, if you bought a celebratory shirt for a title now, it would be embarrassing. Yeah. Like from the casuals collection next to, next to the polo shirts. <laughs> it's uh, 94, 95. I think there just seems to be something about if I'm buying it for my birth year, that really that puts me over the edge. The badge on the sleeve. I'm quite liking the badge on the sleeve. That's really cool, yeah. I'm gonna give this a uh, a 6.8. Yeah, I'm, I'm around the seven mark because I don't really like how the t-shirts fit. I think that they're really, they're always way too baggy. Maybe if I've got smaller ones, it wouldn't be. Maybe it's on me, but I think they're always a bit too baggy for me. Next up is this Schalke. Uh, I believe it's, it looks waterproof. Now, yes, I, I like it. It's, it's particularly crinkly. Um, mm. We're heading into the large Schalke section now, which is my favourite part. Because um, it's just cooler wearing a club that isn't from the country you're in. Like, I love City, but it's like, yeah, but if I'm wearing Schalke, people are like, what a strange fella. That's interesting, isn't it? He, he is a proper footballing guy, is what people think when they see him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy likes ball. From the outside, providing I ironed it somehow, it's an unbelievable nick. So from the outside point of view, I'm giving this an eight. Yes, I, you keep saying from the outside point of view, is it because the inside of these jackets are always horrendous and they like peel all the time and mm. like they fade really quickly? Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I've got some and they, they feel horrible to wear. Yeah, just awful to, that's that literally, I, I got it, opened it, I was like, brilliant. Well, that's why. 
this is being sold. I think it, it is from the outside an eight, but I, knowing I'd never wear it, it would be put down to like a five. It's a bit hypocritical because I don't wear most of my collection. So it's like, maybe I should shut up. This is the Schalke Away kit, an homage to a previous uh, design for Schalke kits. I just really like it. Yeah, I think it, the Bundesliga badge adds to it. The massive Gazprom sponsor is maybe a bit more yeah. <laughs> problematic now. Yeah, that is, <laughs> I found that, uh, you know, when Russia decided to do what they did, I was like, oh, don't, don't, I've got like 20 things with Gazprom <laughs> on the front. What are you doing? I'm going to give it a, a four. Boo, Russia. Go, go, I'll probably make Putin stop, won't it? Very, take, get politics out of football. <laughs> I'm gonna give it an eight, <laughs> despite the sponsor. I mean, it's slightly irritating that the sponsor has two G's in it and doesn't incorporate the G of the lighter into the as into the rest of it. It's good, good Gazprom. Good game, Gazprom. But not good game, Russia. Bad game, Russia. Stop. We've got uh, this is like manual Neuer season. Oh, very good. So, like, oh, like 06? I reckon this feels like an 06 sort of Adidas style, which I feel like is, is sort of making a comeback. This weird sort of mm. futuristic sort of curvy line. Yeah, the, the Team Geist is what it's called. I never liked these designs at the time, and I don't know what's happened, but I really like this. But it's not the most inventive kit. Personally, I'd give it a 6.4. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a massive long sleeve guy, so... Good. I reckon it's a six for me. It's weird that that template, it got brought back, didn't it? But like no one really asked for it to come back. They just brought it back as if everyone was asking for it, but I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but also unnecessary. I'm running out of superlatives for this. This is the kit. It's, first of all, it starts off black and everyone loves a black kit, like almost like black towel. And then you introduce a little bit of color and then get some white in there. And then you've got you've got subtle Schalke badges all over the kit. And I've just realized some of them are upside down. The Adidas written central. I've never seen anything done with these Adidas lines ever since this dropped. Because they got it perfect once and they're like, we can't ever do it again because this is the best way to utilize Adidas lines on a kit. Now I had my criteria earlier and I'm gonna give this a 9.8. Eight. I can see why you'd give it a 9.8. I'm going to give it an 8.5. I think it's really good. I love Ooh, the okay. sponsor. The blue stands out a lot. It's very... It's, what, what would give it the extra 0.2 for you? The fit is a bit irritating. It feels a bit short in the body. And then just like, you know, like just about like two centimetres short. It's like an irritating amount. And then the collar is quite rigid that it sort of pops up quite high without you realising it. And then all of a sudden you feel a bit like Harry Hill. This is, uh, I have no idea when this is from, assuming noughties, because that's what I search every time. I've seen this template for Bayern Munich about 400 times over. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I stumble upon this bad boy, because I can't wear any of the Bayern ones. I can't wear any other German team. I've committed now. I can actually wear uh, Nuremberg because they're really good friends with Schalke. Aww. So uh, I need to find some of them. Uh, which is quite sweet. It feels, it feels one of a kind. I just haven't seen this anywhere else. So I'm going to give it a 9.5. This is, this is a 9 for me, but it's, it's a really good item. I imagine the, you will have another item to show me after this, which is quite similar, but is a, not a shirt. Oh, the one that I go to bed in and wake up and shower in and wear every single day. There we go. Here that's, it the, is. that's what I was talking about. I, it's really it's really good to know that this is my branding. I, I genuinely associate you with this with you more than I do the club. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I just a sweatshirt I'm, I'm big on. So obviously I gave the, the shirt a nine. So this is like a 9.8 for me. It's very, it's very, very good. I like it very much. There's some repairs needed, but I've never seen any. I haven't seen this anywhere else. Considering it's not the best quality, it is the best quality I've seen yet for this one. Yeah. On, on the sleeve there on the left, there's, I'm hoping it's glue. I'm really hoping it's some sort of adhesive. Um, <laughs> that is, that's, Im that's impossible to get off. What I'm assuming is, is that it was maybe like a German builder wore it once, lent on the side and was like, shit, or scheisse. The badge in the middle needs a bit of sewing up. A little okay. sewing up job, some, some threads come off. But apart from that, it's a lovely fit. Do you wash it on 30 degrees? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's very good. Take good care of it. Turn it inside out, put it on 30 and just, 
Be gentle. Yeah, be gentle. Take it out for a nice meal and just be delicate with it. Well, you've clearly been having some fun with it based on that sleeve. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a 9.9. .9. Love it. This is my like fleece Schalke shirt and a uh, little Adidas on the side. One stripe across the breast and then quite a large badge actually in the middle. It's probably second in my rotation. Yeah, I, I've also seen this a lot. For me, the neck, I'm not so keen on. That would be, I, you might have saw me, I shook my head when it came up because I'm not keen on the neck, but that's because I can't pull that off. But I know, I, I know you can. Oh, stop it, stop it. But for me, it would be a six, but for you, I see it as like a 7.58. Yeah, it's an eight. The problem is the uh, I have to roll the sleeves up a little bit because they're they're quite wide. Yeah, I feel like a toddler wearing a, a jumper if they're rolled down. I don't do it all the way up because then I feel like you know uh, the pictures of like tribes in Africa and they've got the neck stretchers. Yeah, yeah. If I feel like I'm like trying to stretch my head as far away from my body as possible, it's really good. Please go over to Earth's channel and watch his beautiful, wonderful football content. I hope you enjoyed eating your lunch whilst you watch this and I will see you in the next one. Bye!